In the twilight of pre-Christian Britain, when mist clung to the land like an ethereal shroud, lived Ariane Rod, a name that whispered of silver and moonlight. She was no ordinary woman, they said. Her lineage traced back to the ancient gods, a lineage that granted her an aura of both reverence and fear. As niece to Mathenwy, the High King of Gwynedd, her life was cast in a mould of destiny. Yet fate had a cruel twist in store. When chosen to be the magical king's foothold, a role reserved for a virgin, a dark secret unfurled. A secret that would shatter the fragile peace of their world. One fateful day, as if by a treacherous hand, Arianrod's purity was compromised. A son was born, a child of shadow and moonlight. Panic seized her, a tempestuous storm in her heart. With a cry that echoed through the ancient forests, she fled, a silver ghost vanishing into the mist. But the tale did not end there. In the aftermath of her flight, Gwydion, her brother and a sorcerer of unparalleled power, discovered another life stirring within her. A life he nurtured in secrecy, a life he named Luolor Jiffis. Yet Arianrod, her spirit hardened by fear and shame, refused to acknowledge her second son. The boy grew under Gwydion's watchful eye, a child of magic and mystery. But a curse hung over him, a shadow cast by his mother's denial. To break this spell, he needed her blessing, a name spoken by her lips. Arianrod retreated into the shadows, becoming a phantom in the land. She built a fortress, a place of exile and defiance, a castle of silver and stone that rose from the waves. It was said that on stormy nights her mournful cries could be heard, carried on the wind, a haunting melody of sorrow and regret. Some whispered of her as a goddess, a celestial being banished to earth for a transgression unknown. Others saw her as a mortal woman, trapped in a web of her own making, a prisoner of her past. But all agreed on one thing Ariane Rod was a force to be reckoned with, a woman of both light and darkness, a queen of shadows whose story was as vast and mysterious as the ocean. And so, the legend of Arian Rod lives on, a tale whispered in the wind, a myth etched into the heart of Wales. She is the silver wheel turning in the night sky, the moon goddess watching over a land steeped in magic and mystery. Leolor Giffes was a child of moonlight and shadow, a creature of magic born from a secret as dark as the abyss. His mother, Ariane Rod, the Silver Queen, had rejected him, casting a shadow over his destiny as impenetrable as the night. Gwydion, his uncle, and a sorcerer of unparalleled power, had raised the boy, filling the void left by the absent mother. Yet, a curse clung to Lo, a malevolent force woven into the fabric of his existence. To break free from its icy grip, he needed a name spoken by his mother's lips, a blessing as rare and precious as the morning dew. Arianrod had vanished, a spectre haunting the coastal mists. Her fortress, Caer Arianrod, was a phantom castle, a mirage shimmering on the horizon. There, it was said, she resided, a queen in exile, her heart a frozen wasteland. Liu's quest became an odyssey, a perilous journey into the heart of shadows. He sought his mother, not with malice, but with a desperate hope. He yearned for her love, a balm to heal the wounds of rejection. The path was fraught with peril. Monsters lurked in the shadows, their eyes burning with unnatural light. The sea churned with malice, its waves carrying whispers of ancient curses. Yet, Lu pressed on, driven by a determination as fierce as the winter's cold. Finally, he stood before the gates of Caer Arianrosh. The castle was a fortress of silver and shadow, a place where reality blurred with dreams. As he approached, the wind carried the faintest whisper, a mournful melody that seemed to emanate from the heart of stone. There, in the heart of the castle, he found her, a woman of ethereal beauty and haunting sorrow. Her eyes held the wisdom of ages, and yet they were filled with a profound emptiness. As their gazes met, a silent battle commenced. The son longing for a mother's love, and the mother trapped in the icy prison of her own making. The air crackled with tension, the castle walls seemed to tremble in anticipation of the outcome. Their eyes locked, a silent battle raging between the depths of their souls. Lu saw a woman haunted by shadows, a queen trapped in her own icy fortress. Arianrod saw a son, a phantom of her past, a reminder of a painful secret. 
a heavy silence fell between them, a silence thick with the weight of centuries. It was broken by the soft whisper of the sea, a constant rhythmic lullaby that seemed to echo the cadence of their hearts. Mother Liu began, his voice barely a whisper, I seek your blessing. I am your son, born of your flesh and spirit. Arianrot flinched, her eyes widening in disbelief. The name, a word she had suppressed for so long, echoed in the chamber, a ghost from the past. Her face contorted in a silent struggle, a battle between love and fear, acceptance and denial. You are not my son, she replied, her voice a mere husk, a mistake, a shadow in the moonlight. Lou's heart shattered into a million pieces. Rejection, like a bitter wind, swept through him. Yet he persisted, his voice filled with a newfound determination. I am your son, mother. You cannot deny the blood that binds us. Arianrod's body trembled, her eyes filled with a tempest of emotions. She turned away, her back a fortress against the onslaught of truth. But in that moment of vulnerability, a single tear escaped, a silent confession of a love long suppressed. The castle was silent, the only sound the relentless rhythm of the sea. Time seemed to stand still, a suspended moment heavy with the weight of destiny.